Once upon a time, in the ground village of Umuna, there lived a young and diligent girl named Osinachi. She was known for her intelligence and tireless work ethic, which had earned her the cherished title of the king's favorite maid. Osinachi's journey began when she was just a child. Despite her humble origin, she displayed a remarkable aptitude for learning and an insatiable curiosity. Her parents, who were simple farmers, recognized her potential and encouraged her to pursue her dreams. Osinachi was an avid reader and a keen observer of the world around her. As she grew older, her reputation for hard work and intelligence reached King Adima, a wise and just ruler, who decided to bring Osinachi to the royal palace. Osinachi's life at the palace was a whirlwind of new experiences. She adapted to her new surroundings with grace and continued to work diligently. Over the years, Osinachi's bond with King Adima deepened and she became his trusted confidant. Her wisdom and insight were invaluable in helping the king make fair and informed decisions for his village. Osinachi's love and dedication extended beyond her duties at the palace. She also cared for her ailing mother, who had fallen seriously ill not long after Osinachi's arrival at the palace. Despite her busy schedule and demanding responsibilities, Osinachi made sure she visited her mother regularly, tending to her needs and providing comfort. She would often bring the healing herbs and remedies she had learned about during her time in the palace, doing everything in her power to elevate her mother's suffering. One day, Osinachi asked for permission to visit and spend some days with her mother, since she only visits and goes back same day. The king, who respected her not only for her intelligence but also for her compassion and empathy, gave her eight market days to spend with her mother. As her mother's health improved over time, Osinachi's heart was filled with gratitude, knowing that she had made a difference, not only in the kingdom, but also in the life of the one person she loved most. After eight market days, Osinachi went back to the palace, and with her was a magical pepper fruit, which has the ability to make people look evergreen. The magical pepper tree grew on the peak of a large mountain, and Osinachi, the king's maid, had to work very hard to get it for her master. When Osinachi got to the palace, the king had gone out for an important meeting, so she kept the pepper fruit for him in his chamber. When the king got back, Osinachi greeted him and served him the fruit. But unbeknownst to her, the fruit had been poisoned, and just when the king was about eating the fruit, the prime minister reminded him of the rules to feed anything the king would eat to a living thing before the king could eat it. So the king asked that the fruit be tested, and the prime minister gave part of them to a goat. The goat ate it and immediately died. This made the king furious, 
and in his rage he beheaded Osinachi and took the remaining fruit and threw them away. After many, many years, a pepper tree grew at the same spot. The tree was littered with pepper fruit, and when the king noticed it, he informed his subjects that the fruit from that tree should not be eaten because it was poisonous. One fateful morning, an elderly man arrived the village and found comfort beneath the pepper tree. The old man, unaware of the mystery surrounding the tree, reached for the fruit and ate it. When he ate it, he became younger and all his body pains disappeared. The news of an old man who became younger after eating the fruits from the forbidden tree spread like a wide fire in the village. And as soon as the king got to know about it, he couldn't believe but wondered how that could be, given that the tree was from a poisonous fruit. The king visited the spot where the tree had grown and in front of everyone, the king allowed a guard to eat of the fruit. And as soon as he ate the fruit, he became younger. Everyone was surprised and the king now understood that the fruit was once poisonous, but not the tree. Sad by the fact that he killed his innocent maid, he then realizes that before punishing anyone, he must verify whether or not he was at fault. Osinachi's story taught us the importance of balancing personal responsibilities with one's professional duties and enduring power of love and caregiving. Also taught us that no decision must be made hastily but only after a careful and great investigation and thinking.